Hello everybody, today we are going to make a flower painting inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. We have here our Gerber Daisy and this is the finished painting. I am going to only use the yellow, white, and blue to make this painting, so I'm taking three colors. Um, I won't be using that red that we see here. So here are my paint brushes. I have a couple different sizes. I'm going to put some water in that cup. I'm only going to be painting one of these flowers. We see that there are a bunch of these flowers, but I'm going to take one and concentrate on that flower and really use my entire canvas with this one flower in the Georgia O'Keeffe style. This is a photograph of Georgia O'Keeffe. She was born November 15, 1887, and she died March 6, 1986. Here's another photograph of her with some of her paintings. Notice how the flowers take up the entire canvas. Okay, now back to our painting. I am going to start by putting some of my yellow on my paint palette. I'm only going to use three colors for this painting. I'm going to use my yellow, my blue, and white. I also love having a paper towel handy to make sure my brush is dry or nice and clean. So I'm going to start with the center of my flower. And if I look really close at this flower, I'll notice there's almost like little tiny circles and they make a circular pattern. Right now I've decided that I want to take one off of this um, bush of flowers to really concentrate on it. So I am going to put one off. If you need to cut your flower arrangement, if you want to do this from a live flower, make sure you have your parents' permission. You're more than welcome to copy the painting that I did, but you also can take a live flower and make a painting of that. Your painting doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but you also can do this one too if you like. So I am doing little dots in a circular pattern, looking at my flower as I'm painting, and I'm going to do the outline of this in yellow, and then I'll come in and I will add some blue and white. If I mix the blue with yellow, I'm going to get green, so you'll see that as I go on I will mix colors, but most of this will be in yellow for the outline to start. So now I'm going to start pulling the petals out. I'm looking at my flower and copying the shape of those petals. It's almost just a simple line, but I curve it in and then I do one and then curve the second one in. And I'm going to do that shape all around. And I really want to go off the canvas like we saw with Georgia O'Keeffe's flowers. Okay, now I am going to put a little bit of blue on my palette and I'm going to mix a little bit of that with the yellow and I'm just going to mix it over here. I'm not mixing it too well because I want there to be some variations in the paint. And now I'm going to go for the center again and I'm going to go in a dot pattern, just getting the paint on there. I want to get all of my white on my canvas out. If I want to put white back onto my canvas, I can do that with the paint. We don't want any of the raw canvas showing for this painting. So I want you to really try to play with different brush strokes. I'm trying to get the feel of those little circles, so I'm not painting back and forth. I'm pressing up and down with my paintbrush. And 
and I'm using a lot of paint for this project because I wanted to the paint to almost be 3D like when it's done so I'm not really pressing it in I'm really using a lot and just trying to get some full coverage there Okay, once I have that layer of greenish yellow down, I'm gonna come in with blue. And if you notice the center is darker on the flower, I really want to try to showcase that. So I'm gonna come in with a darker blue and make that smaller circle in the middle. I'm gonna wash my brush out a little now because I'm going to work on the petals. Again, I'm grabbing a lot of paint on my brush. And then I'm going to pull out, I'm looking at the shapes of the petal. You can almost see those lines. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I still have yellow, but I've mixed it in with a little bit of blue, so it's almost a shadow. And I'm gonna do each petal individually. So you get some more paint. It's always better to start with a little paint and get more so you don't leave paint on your palette and waste it. Okay, now I've mixed a little bit more blue in with this yellow because I was feeling that it was all looking too one color yellow and we want to create some depth. So there we go. I made it a little darker so we can get those lines in that petal. And now I am going to do a little on each petal, but I don't want to do one solid color because I want to come back with other um, tones, so it gives it some dimension. So I'm gonna speed this up. It did take me some time and it definitely wasn't a quick process, so take your time when doing this. Um, so I've gone all the way around and now I'm coming in and I'm adding another layer and pulling from the center around. And now I'm going to I got this petal a little bit more right here and I'm going to add some white to my painting now. If you notice the flower right now it's kind of um, it's coming together but it's going white's going to add some more highlights and dimension to my flower. I'm always trying to look at the live actual flower while I'm painting. See the difference with this white than just the white spots that I have on the canvas? We don't want to leave any of the white.
Okay, so I've gone all around my flower, adding that white. It wasn't always a pure white, I did mix it with the yellow. Sometimes it's not as mixed, you can see right there. And that just kind of gives it a pop. And I'm going to add a little bit in the center for a little bit of a highlight. Here you can see that there are two or three layers of petals, so I have done the first layer and now I'm going to come in and do another layer of petals. These petals would be behind so I won't be showing the whole petal. look at some of Georgia O'Keeffe's painting, some of her flowers do have background colors. However, some of them take up the entire canvas. And with this one here, I am not going to use a background color. I am going to take up the entire canvas with this flower. I'm going to paint my signature in one of these petals right here. I don't want to paint my signature too close to the corner because if I was going to frame this, I want to still be able to see the signature. I hope you all enjoyed this painting. I had a lot of fun doing it and I look forward to seeing your beautiful paintings. Have a wonderful day.